Hey, this is Chris Menard. I was asked a great question this week that sounded initially pretty easy until I thought about it. Somebody wanted to compare their employees. They're all full-time, and they wanted to compare all their annual salaries every year. And I thought, well, just take 2,080 times their annual, I'm sorry, times their hourly salary. So here's where I'm talking about, and then I'll show you why this gets complicated. So there's 52 weeks in a year, 40 business hours in a week. That just simply equals the 52 times the 40. You should get 2,080. There's 2,080 business hours in a year. Um, and then let's say somebody's making 15 bucks. You're going to take the 2,080 times 15. There's their annual salary right there, not counting bonuses or anything else. Well, the issue is this. I, I knew that everyone's going to get a pay raise, so I got to figure out what happens when the pay raise happens. So I started off using network days, and it doesn't matter which one of these you pick. Start date is January 1, 2018. We're going to end it on that day, and then I'm going to multiply it times their salary times eight hours. I should end up with 31,200. But I got 31,320, and to be honest with you, it's basically one extra day of pay in there, I can tell. And I made, I put this calendar here, and if you notice, January 1, 2018 starts obviously in week 1, but it starts on a Monday. So if you look down at week 52 in December, the last payday is the 28th, which is a Friday, because... Business week one for 2019 actually starts on the 30th, which is a Sunday, and the 31st. So the 31st is a Monday, and that's that extra day that I've got in here. So there's two easy ways to change this. One is just, to be honest with you, I would just change this to the 28th, and now everything's correct. And if you don't want to do that one, you could come in here in the networking days function and do a minus one for minus one day right there. Either one's okay. To be honest with you, I find it easier just to change that to 1228. Now, that's assuming right here, by the way, that no one's getting a pay increase, but that the problem is every employee gets a pay increase. So I know that my network day function's working, so here we go. Act like you have an employee down here, and they've made 15 bucks starting on January 1, but on 9, let's make this 7-1. On 7-1, 2018, so they made $15 until June 30th. Then on 7-1, they get bumped up to 16.25. So the question now is, what is their annual salary? So here we go again. Equals network days, start date, comma, that date, times times 8 make it 15,600 bucks for the first 6 months and I'm going to just take a peek over here at the calendar sure enough June 30th on a Saturday so the 29th was a Friday and then one more time I'm just going to copy this over and change it Remember, we need to make this minus 1. Look at those two numbers. I got a total of 32,500 in the bottom right-hand corner down here. If you want to test this, it's real simple. 15, 16.25. I'm using 1,040 because that's 2,080 divided by 2. So I'm just simply, this is my, this is my little test to make sure my other formula right here is correct and I believe it is I hope so 32,500 32,500 now the reason now that I know that it's working I'm gonna get rid of this the issue is this now if somebody only works until May 8th 2018 because on May 9th is when the pay raise took place so they're going to end up with 32,800. One more time. Let's run this through July 10th. 
Therefore, July 11th will start their pay increase, and that is their annual salary. So that was a great question, but there's your answer. And once again, if you're an HR payroll, an accounting student, and possibly an Excel Power user, there is the net workday function, which is one of my favorite functions. And I find myself using that up more frequently. I appreciate your time.